There's plenty of old school horror films that can still be powerful today, like the original The Shining, Jaws, Evil Dead and The Exorcist. John Carpenter's The Thing also shares the same stage because it's one of the best science fiction horror films ever made. Putting aside the awesome story and hands-on practical effects, there's one reason why you need to revisit this incredible piece of cinematic horror history. After all these years, I've only just noticed how absolutely brilliant all the actors are. Their characters are believable, they're authentic. Some recent horror films look beautiful and have great stories but are let down by bad acting. I remember being impressed by the trailer for a film called The Possession of Michael King. I was really looking forward to it. And then when I started to watch, yeah, there's so much wrong with it, but the worst is the acting. I stopped watching it after 20 minutes. Now, to balance things out, the other extreme is how fantastic Kristen Stewart is in the disturbing film Personal Shopper. You see, potentially, a great horror film can burn and crash because of lazy casting directors or simply bad judgement. With so much focus on film aesthetics, marketing and jaw-dropping effects, sometimes I wish the same attention be given to casting the right actors. So watching The Thing again, after so long, suddenly emphasised to me why many horror productions don't succeed. The Thing's atmospheric music is instantly recognisable and the script is exciting and it never goes flat. Its freezing location feels so remote and when characters start to panic and freak out, I'm totally convinced and immersed, joining them in their terrifying ride. My horror love for The Thing has never lessened over the years and experiencing it yet again has reminded me that this old film has certainly survived the passing of time. I've also realised how many current horror films are marketed under the promise of being the most terrifying ever, when the truth is they'll be forgotten about within seconds after they end. However, all the recommendations you might have heard about 1982's film The Thing are all so true. Alongside John Carpenter's original film The Fog, the very first Halloween film, and the terrific Assault on Precinct 13, the Thing is definitely one of his superior productions. The impact of this incredible film is still a massive influence to horror creators and fans, and especially audiences who remember watching it on the big screen when it was first released. It was the only time in my life after seeing it for the first time I actually remained in my cinema seat to experience it again. Going slightly off track for a moment, but you'll get my point. Jason Blum at Blumhouse has produced 13 wonderful films over the years, including Get Out, the original Paranormal Activity, and of course Whiplash, which is a brilliant achievement. However, Jason Blum is becoming the Simon Cowell of the horror industry, churning out so many other films on a Pepsi-like horror conveyor belt. And sadly, in years to come, many of these Blumhouse films will simply turn to dust. That never happened to this film, The Thing. It's still alive and creeping people out. The Thing is an important and beautifully made horror film. Although it's so old, The Thing has depth, character and a story that gets under the skin of its audience. And that's what's missing with many modern horror films. Perhaps in the production process there's too many people involved so very little risks are taken. And because of all that noise, the horror film industry is a dumbed down, diluted version of what it could be. Check out my other YouTube channel, Horror Stories from the Clown.